Hello everyone, this is Atik and welcome to my video series on ratio analysis. In this video, we are going to discuss about quick ratio, also known as the acid test ratio. This ratio shows the ability of a company to pay off its short term obligation or current liabilities out of its quick assets. Now here, the concept of quick assets has been introduced. Now, those assets which can be converted to cash within 90 days or within a very short period of time are known as quick assets. Cash and cash equivalents, uh, short term investment or marketable securities, net accounts receivable, these assets are considered as quick assets of a company. In some financial statements, we do not get this uh, big drown breakdown of assets. So uh, we get quick assets by deducting inventory and prepaid expenses from our current assets to get the quick assets of a company. Now let's have a look at the formula of quick ratio. There are two variations of the formula of quick ratio. The first variation is where we add the cash and cash equivalent plus the short term investment or marketable securities plus net accounts receivable. Then we divide them by total current liabilities. The other variation is where we take the total current asset of a company and then deduct inventories and prepaid expenses from it to get the quick asset of the company and then divide it by the total current liabilities. Now let's work on an example. In front of us, we have the balance sheet of Amazon.com for the year 2017 and 2018. We are going to compute the quick ratio of 2017 and we will use the first variation of the formula. That is, we will add the cash and cash equivalents, then short term investment, more marketable securities, then we will add the net accounts receivable and then divide them by our total current liabilities. We will move to the current asset section where we have cash and cash equivalents amounting to 20522. Then we have marketable securities amounting to 10464. Then we have inventories. We are not going to include inventories because it is not part of our quick assets. And lastly, we have uh, net accounts receivable amounting to 13164 million. If we add these three items, we are going to get 44150 million. That is our quick assets of Amazon.com for the year 2017. Now we will move to the current liability section where we have accounts payable, accrued expenses and earned earned revenue. If we add these three items, we are going to get a total current liabilities of 57883 million. We will divide our uh, total quick assets that is 44150 million by our total current liabilities that is 57883 million. We are going to get a quick ratio of 0.76274 and so on. If if you round it off to, off to two decimal places, we are going to get 0.76. So the quick ratio of Amazon.com for the year 2017 is 0.76. Now it is your task to figure out the quick ratio of Amazon.com for the year 2018. And do let me know in the comments section. I hope you would find this video helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Do like and subscribe for more accounting videos every week. See you in the next video. Till then, goodbye and take care.